Hello, welcome to my tutorial on how to create a Cardano native token or asset on the Windows platform. Creating a token on Cardano is basically just creating a transaction with additional minting parameters and using a policy script and policy ID to identify your token on the blockchain. We are also going to generate a policy signing key to verify or confirm your ownership of your token. Actually, this tutorial and some of my succeeding ones are not just simple tutorials that will teach you how to do things on the Cardano blockchain, but they are actually a part of the whole project that I'm about to develop, which I will call Future Bank. Generally, Future Bank is a light Cardano wallet in the beginning that will be powered by an internal token or stablecoin, which I will call Future Token. And in this tutorial, I will show you how I will create the Future Token that I will use in this project. You can track the progress of this project at futurebank.com. And in the near future, some of the advanced topics that I will be discussing or presenting in a separate tutorial will be used or utilized in this project, such as smart contracts. Before we get started, let me just give you a quick introduction on what the future token is all about and the things that we need to prepare before we go through the actual token creation. So basically, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to create a native asset on Cardano, and I will call it Future Token, but of course, you will need to come up with your own name as you go through the step-by-step -step guide in this tutorial. So I will be using the Future Token to develop my Future Bank project, which is going to be a light Cardano wallet in the beginning. And future token is going to be a stable coin that will be pegged with uh, ADA currency. And in the future, it is, it is going to be powered by a smart contract, which I will also present in a separate video tutorial. Before you start creating or minting your token, you will need to ask yourself the following questions. First, what will be the name of your token? Make sure the name of your token is unique. Check all the existing tokens on the Cardano blockchain and make sure you are not imitating an existing one. So for this example, I'm going to use future as the name of my token. Second, how many tokens do you intend to mint? I will be minting 7.7 .7 billion future tokens but the 700 million is actually allotted for my upcoming tutorial, which is how to burn tokens. Third, is there time constraint to mint or burn your tokens? For now, we will just mint and burn whenever we want. And lastly, how many signatures do you intend to use for you to be able to mint? For now, I'm just going to use one signature to mint my tokens. So in order to keep things straightforward and well organized, I will just use the same directory structure and file naming convention as the one presented on the developer's website of Cardano. So I created a token folder inside Cardano node main folder. And inside the token folder, I created another policy folder where we will store all our policy scripts, uh, policy ID, and signing key. I have also prepared and generated a payment address out of a recovery phrase. And also, I have here a signing key and verification key. By the way, before you proceed with the step-by-step -step guide in this tutorial, you may need to go through these prerequisite tutorials, such as generating keys and address from a recovery phrase. That tutorial will teach you how to generate the following, such as a recovery phrase, 
uh, payment address and the signing and verification keys which you will need in order to mint your token all right so we are now going through the uh, nitty-gritty of our tutorial and the first thing that we did was to set up our working directory and as i have shown you a while ago i have already created a token main folder this is where we will store all the files that we will generate along the way now after you have generated a payment address you will need to send at least a couple of added tokens to it to include the transaction fee and the minimum sending amounts of one added token once you've done that let's proceed with the next step which is now to query the protocol parameters and save it inside a protocol.json file which we will use in one of the succeeding steps of this tutorial so here is the command let's paste that on our command prompt so here is the protocol.json file that was generated the next step is to create another subfolder inside the token main folder called policy which i have already done so so now we are going to generate our policy key pairs again here is the command let's go to our command prompt so let's check our policy folder so here are the key pairs that have been generated let's proceed now with the next step which is to create a policy.script file using notepad and save it inside the policy subfolder so let's open notepad and create our policy.script file do you want to create a new file yes then let's copy the template and paste it inside the script file let's save it and keep it open because we are now going to generate the key hash on the next step so we are going to generate a key hash of our policy verification key file and save it inside the policy.script file basically the script file defines the policy verification key as a witness in order for us to sign the uh, minting transaction so let's proceed let's copy our command and paste it in our command prompt so here is now our key hash let's copy that and paste it inside the policy.script file let's save it and close the file so now we are going to proceed with the next step in order for us to mint uh, the native asset we will need first to generate a policy id which is going to identify our token on the blockchain so this is going to be a unique policy id that is exclusively for our token so here's the command let's generate a policy id and save it inside the policy.id file so let's check our policy subfolder so here is our script and our policy id all right so let's close that in this next step we are now going to create a token.csv file template which will contain our asset information including the token or asset name which should be in base 16 format and then the amount of tokens that we are going to mint and the utxo hash id and index where we will get the fees from all these values must be separated by comma with no space in between so let's now proceed to create our token csv file using notepad let's create a new file yes then let's copy again the template and paste it inside the token csv file all right now first let's convert 
our token name into a base 16 format using this website so just type in the name of your token and in my case i'm going to use future token and this is now going to be the base 16 equivalent of our token name so let's just copy that and paste it on our template right now next the token amount this is the total amount of tokens that you want to mint so again in my case i'm going to mint 7.7 .7 billion future tokens all right for the next step we are now going to query our payment address and determine the transaction hash and index of the utxo that we are going to get the fees from and then we are going to save them inside our token csv template file so let's use this command to query the list of utxos in our payment address so we have a couple of transaction hashes one contains one ADA token and the other one contains 2.4 ADA tokens so we are going to use the second one so let's copy the transaction hash and the transaction index which is zero let's paste it on our template and put zero as our transaction index and of course the balance which is this one let's save that and by now we are ready to mint our token so we have prepared all the necessary files that we will use in the next steps so this wraps up the first segment of this tutorial I will discuss the actual minting transaction on the second part of this tutorial. So see you there. Thank you. Bye-bye.